selection uh, we uh, go to primitive polygon mesh and we go to grid and we make the grid a little bit big and then we crank up the subdivision and this will uh, then uh, fold nicer when it hits the polygon spare swear and then we hit V to move it down and hit X make it a little bit smaller V again to take it up and then we hit the uh, spacebar to and let's we select the grid we close this one and then we go to model and we go down to simulate or you hit 4 on the keyboard and then we uh, hit T to tag the, the points we do not select the uh, the upper upper row only because if if we select that the whole uh, grid will become a cloth and it will all uh, all fall uh, down but if we do not select the upper one it will hinge from the, that point and then we go to simulate and create we go to from selection cloth from selection That would do some calculation. And then we will pin down this PPG by clicking this icon. And then we uh, we select uh, the cloth again and we have to uh, make a force uh, selection we go to get force gravity and then we can turn down the gravity to 46 and then we select the, cl the cloth and then we select uh, environment set obstacle and then we s make a selection of the ball and then we take take and click right click uh, on the empty space and we just close this one and then we select the uh, and it's very important that you select the cloth before you go to environment and select the ball and in this way you make a, connect, a connection between the ball and the cloth and so the cloth uh, will collide uh, with the ball and then we can uh, take cloth and make a preset let's take uh, leather and then we can uh, run the simulation And here you can here you could see it didn't do very nicely. Let's go back and try it again. It collided with itself and cut itself open. Let's say collision, self collision. We can take uh, active and uh, accurate. And then we can take the how we go to spare obstacle. We go to uh, obstacle type. We select actual shape. And then we try it again. Now it's a little bit slower. And here you can see that the ball is going through the cloth. But the cloth do not intersect it with itself. It's because we, we took self collision active and accuracy cloth thickness 0.5. But you can see the ball comes through. Now let's stop it and rewind. 
and then we uh, go to push length uh, uh, physical push length and we set this to 1 and then we run the simulation again And no, it do not. It, uh, the bolt do not go through. Uh, 